With an FCTV, with Adam Hinchwood looking head to Truro away. Another long trip on the road for us, Adam. Been a little while since you've had one, though. How are you feeling going into it? No, yeah, we've uh, got rid of our West Country twang, haven't we, since we've not been down there in a while. So, yeah, it's um, uh, tough, tough, you know, it's going to be an early start. Um, but, you know, teams, they've got to do it every other week to come over this way. So, yeah, just, there's no excuses on, on that side of it. We want to be a team that's at least at this level. So, you know, long journeys and stuff like that we've got to get used to and um, be part and parcel of what we do. So, um, yeah, be no complaints and um, just looking forward to, to another game. Um, like I say, we come away with a disappointing result last Saturday, but I think in the main there was a good performance there. Um, you know, we looked at the stats and looked at areas we can improve and then we're just trying to implement that and put that right Saturday. So do you think on the whole the performance Saturday is what you'd like to see this weekend? Yeah, I just think, um, like, looking at the stats, I think they had four shots on target, we had three. Um, we had 60 odd percent possession and over 200 or more passes in them. So it's just a case of now um, us working out how we can be more productive now with that possession. Um, so, you know, we had a bit of this uh, at times at the start of the season where we had a lot of the ball and, you know, ultimately, you know, we want our position to have some purpose to it and that's got to be the, the key thing really. So, yeah, we want to stay, the play the same way, try and dominate the ball if we can, and um, but just, yeah, a bit more purpose to it and, like I say, just try and work the goalkeeper a little bit more if, if we can. So we've already met this season. Uh, we had a two all draw with them back in October. It was a a controversial one, should we say? Uh, we're down to nine men that day. Uh, what were your thoughts on that game? Are you expecting anything similar this Saturday? Uh, yeah, that was, you know good side. I thought they had a couple of decent players to be fair, and you know, still there and still got them. So yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be a tough tough ask. Um, like I say, it doesn't just pan out that we put right what we did against Chelsea. It's another challenge, different formation. Um, you know, I don't know what the pitch is going to be like. It's obviously been very cold and, um, you know, I don't know how that's going to have affected the pitch at all. So, um, there's lots of different factors. Um, but, yeah, we can't hide behind anything. We've got to be ready for um, all the different scenarios that might possibly come up. And, um, like I say, just look at ourselves and, and back ourselves to, to go and give a good performance. And, you know, just keep on drumming in that, you know, those performances will lead to results um, if we can be consistent with them. And looking at the team that will be out on the pitch in Truro uh, this Saturday, who do you think is going to be available and who do you think is missing? Um, so Nicky Wheeler and Luke are definitely missing, um, which frees up, obviously, a bit of space on the left wing. Um, other than that, um, you know, Days, just got to see how he's coming through. Michael trained Tuesday, but still showing real bad effects of his illness so yeah there's a couple there with, with question marks Jesse's run on Tuesday so be with us training tonight so see what sort of reaction he gets so there's probably three uh, centre field players there with question marks over them um, but yeah all of the main um, you know the back four should all be fit and available um, two goalkeepers to choose from Ollie should be Firing, hoping Greg can pull through. He's uh, had a bit of tightness in his groins. So, yes, four or five with question marks, but we're hoping that you know, at least two of them come through and are available uh, on Saturday for us. And if not, it's a good opportunity for some of the younger guys as well. Finn Chadwick, Ollie Starkey, both on the bench recently. No, it's like that. And Finn's come in. When he's come in, he's done, done excellent. So, you know, he's just got a keep on, on trusting, it's, it's what we do, it's what we believe in, it'd be a young squad, I think, um, you know, if, if Kane comes out of our squad, blimey, the average age would be really low, um, but, you know, uh, it, I say it's opportunities, isn't it, opportunities for Holly Starkey, uh, that's that's why we wanted him, Brad, Owen Spicer, um, you know, all these lads, young lads going out and getting minutes and getting game time, so, that when they're called upon, they've got that match sharpness and, uh, you know, they've, they've been playing uh, away uh, different clubs and, and getting those minutes. So, you know, they should be ready, ready to go and, and that's what we've done it for.